Hi, I hope you're having a great day. It's the start of the weekend and I want to share one tip with you when it comes to post-workout and pre-workout drinks. Now, people are always confused when it comes to what they should eat or what they should drink before a workout or after a workout. Your pre-workout nutrition and your post-workout nutrition is extremely important because when you are working out, you're breaking down muscle or you're utilizing energy in the human body. Now, these muscles need recovery, recovery in terms of rest and more importantly, recovery in terms of nutrition because you are made of trillions of cells and all those cells, they operate on cellular energy. When you work out, your mitochondria produces ATP. ATP is the currency of energy in the human body. All of this requires food and nutrients from the food that you eat to sustain the right kind of energy. If you work out and you have the wrong kind of recovery in terms of nutrition, your workout is practically useless. In fact, you've put a negative stress on the body and the body moves further into stress because it's not getting the nutrition it requires to recover. When the body doesn't get the, re the nutrition it requires to recover, it goes into famine mode, which means your cortisol levels go higher. When, you go, when your cortisol levels go higher, you start accumulating body fat, abdominal fat especially. So we all know people who work out very hard in the gym, they have great workouts, but yet they have this abdominal fat, this belly fat and this midriff fat, which is almost impossible to remove. So just besides punishing your body with exercise and trying to do all those crunches, it's useless if you don't have the right nutrition to feed your body to help in recovery. We all know that to build, to lose all that belly fat, you've got to build more muscle, you've got to build more lean mass. The more lean mass you have, the more metabolic power you have, and a good metabolism breaks down fat. It's as simple as that. So now pre-workout, post-workout, some people do fruit, some people do nuts, some people do protein shakes. Well, it depends on the kind of workout that you're doing and what suits your body. But today I want to talk about a simple glass of beetroot juice. Now for the longest time, scientists have proved all over the world that beetroot juice is one of the most effective pre and post workout drink. Now it's another reason you can't make too much of money on beetroot juice because you just, you just buy beets yourself, you juice it or you buy a beetroot juice. It's not going to be as expensive as supplements and protein shakes and pre-workout shakes and post-workout shakes. So you see everything that's sold to you is sold to you because of profit margins and money and that's not a bad thing but we shouldn't push aside whatever is natural and what can provide almost the same value as most of the synthetic pre-workout and post-workout drinks without any side effects or consequences in the human body. Now, why beetroot juice? Because beetroots are rich in nitrates. When nitrates mix with the saliva, with enzymes in your saliva, in your mouth, it gets converted into nitric oxide. And it's nitric oxide that does all the magic. Basically, nitric oxide basically pushes your blood performance. It moves your blood towards your muscles. It causes dilation and blood flow towards your muscles, helping you have more stamina and more energy. And at the same time, post-workout, it is great for recovery because when the muscles are all tight and when you have all that lactic acid buildup in you, basically, basically you need dilation and blood flow. And nitric oxide does that, and that's found in beetroots. And athletes all over the world are now moving. They've been doing it for years, moving to beetroot. And you'll notice that some supplement companies have also come out with pre-workout beetroot powder and post-workout beetroot powder because there is truth and magic in beetroot. There is truth and magic in nature. So sometimes if you, don't want, to, if you want to stay for, away from all those synthetic proteins and pre-workout drinks and post-workout drinks, now don't get me wrong, if you're an athlete, if you're a bodybuilder, you may require that because that's what your sport demands. But for normal layman people who think they're athletes but don't behave like athletes because they don't sleep enough, they don't eat enough, they don't recover enough, and their intention is wrong behind the kind of body that they want to, to build, you're better off staying with things which are natural. So the best way to prove something is to try it and understand something called realization. When you realize things like meditation really works, you start doing it. When you realize that your problem with food is overeating it and not just the kind of food that you eat, you realize. So we learn in life when we realize. We realize when we do things. So for the next couple of workouts, whether it's yoga, whether it's CrossFit, whatever it is that you do, Try having a glass of beetroot juice. This is inexpensive and easy to make. Just buy a couple of beetroots and juice it. You have this about 30 to 45 minutes before your workout and you can have it immediately after your workout with whatever else you're having as part of your pre or post-workout nutrition. And note the energy, note the stamina, note the recovery. Now we've heard, all heard of DOMS, that is D-O-M-S, Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness, which most people suffer from and then they can't go to the gym the next day or they can't work out because they have the soreness in their muscle. Beetroot juice will help you overcome that because the more blood you push towards the broken down muscles, the more recovery and the quicker recovery you have. 
Now, there's always a twist to it. If you can add, since you're making a glass of beetroot juice, you're putting in that effort to do that, I would suggest add a little bit of ginger, add a little bit of black pepper, and add a little bit of, of lemon. Because now it just doesn't become a pre- or post-workout drink. It also becomes an immunity booster. And why do you need an immunity bo booster when you work out? Because you'll notice most gym trainers tell their clients to have vitamin C and vitamin E post their workout or in recovery. Why? Because we know that immunity starts falling when you work out. It's obvious you're putting a negative stress on your body when you work out. Your immunity will fall. So what happens is when you add that lemon and you add that ginger, it becomes anti-inflammatory and it becomes high in vitamin C and highly alkaline. So you see, by doing a little bit more, you can enhance nature to work for the human body. So you may want to try this out for yourself and see how it works for your immunity, for your pre-workout and for your post-workout. Now, if you don't work out, but you should be working out, this makes a great healthy drink as well. Beetroot, ginger, lemon, a little bit of black pepper. You can get creative and add some carrot as well. People who are diabetics, may, you may want to check your levels when you, can, when you have these kind of juices because for certain kinds of, di of, di of diabetes, it can actually raise your blood sugar levels. But remember, when it comes to diabetes, it's not just about your blood sugar levels. That's what we've been fooled with. That's what we've been controlled into believing that diabetes is only about your high blood sugar levels, your low blood sugar levels. What's bigger than that are your pancreas. Your pancreas is what produces insulin. So we want to know why isn't my pancreas producing the right amount of insulin or why aren't my cells behaving the right way and working well with insulin. Always look at the bigger picture and that's when you start healing. Have a great weekend, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, be and uh, breathe deep. Try to be true juice and share with us how it works for you. Take care.